Good morning, my name is Ms. Cheatham and you are here with us at the Achievable Dream Academies at Hollis Springs Elementary School. And today we're going to talk a little bit about plate tectonics. Um, so today we're going to model the movements of plate tectonics or plate at tectonic boundaries. Um, we're going to talk about the three different types of boundaries, divergent, convergent, and transforming. And we're going to explain how the movement of tectonic plates relates to the changing of surface and the surface of Earth and describe the benefits and limitations of the models that we created. Um, who remembers what benefits means? When we talk about benefits, benefits mean can? Ways that it can help you. Ways that it can help you and limitations mean? Things that are bad about it are ways that it may not help us. Very good. Um, so today in front of you, you have a set of materials. You have graham crackers. You have um, icing. What color is your icing mostly? Yellow. Yellow, orangish. Why do you think I tried to color it yellow or orangish? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a specific layer, it starts with an M, Dylan? Magma. The magma. So the magma is what's deep, deep down inside of our core. Um, and that's what um, helps our, or that's what we know, that's the way that we know our um, plates can move. So set up your models. Um, everybody, if you have your graham cracker, you can break it. Um, sort of in half, be as very careful as you can. I know it's a little very gentle. Yeah, very good, got it a second time. All right, and then you can place your plates on top of your magma. So place your plates, set them on top of your magma. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to model a convergent boundary. So in your notebooks, yes, yes, perfect. Um, so in your notebooks, write convergent boundaries. Convergent, C O N V E R. G E N T. Um, you can start off by writing it sort of like, yeah, in the middle, go all the way down, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you're going to do the word and then the picture, the word, the picture, the word, the picture, yes. Do you have to write convergent um, boundaries? Um, yes, just so that we, just so we don't get confused. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, convergent. C O N V E R G. E N T. So you're going to have the word and then you're going to draw the picture right underneath it. So we're going to see what it looks like. Yes. Yes, convergent boundary. Yes. Yes. Boundary B O U N. That's okay. B O U N D A R Y. Yes. Can you like put what it says, describe convergent and then draw the picture? Mm, well, we're going to talk about it. I'll, I'll tell you what to write next. I'll tell you what to write next. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you can draw, you can leave this space right here to draw your picture. Perfect. Um, so what does um, convergent boundaries say that we need to do? What are we going to do? Okay, did you? Push the plates together. So do exactly that. Take your graham crackers and push your plates together. And then while you're doing that, I'll pull this up on the board. See, the mountains and stuff are growing here at the um, convergent boundaries. Did you guys get some mountains in your mm -hmm. graham crackers? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, and your magma. We can also form mountains. What else can we form? Hmm? Okay. It's okay. But look, you got, a nice, you got a nice mountain right there, too, even though, yeah. So what else do we form instead of um, mountains? Mountains, what else could we form? Um, Jeffrey? What else, like spews, lava, geysers too, Gary, yep. But also what, spill, what spews lava, the hot stuff? Call on Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can also form volcanoes too. So we see that in, right in the middle where the plates push together, that is where all of our, um, all of our, val or our mountains have formed. So go ahead in your journals, draw what it looks like for the um, plates to um, come together. Convergent meaning come together. And how long does it usually take for this, these mountains and things to form? 
millions of years, millions of years. This simulation I had is set for 20 million years. So, very good. Mm -hmm. And then also don't forget to draw your arrows. The arrows are the biggest, the most important part of it. Perfect, yes. The arrows show the movement. So if you draw them coming towards each other, we know that is a convergent boundary. Mm -hmm. That looks good. And you got your arrows, I love it. Yep. And draw, draw some little mountains, like little triangles to kind of show your, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep. So for divergent, what does the divergent boundary say that we should do, SJ? Yeah, Jaranda, go ahead. What does it say? It says pull the plates apart. Pull the plates apart, absolutely. So do just that. Pull your plates apart, and while you're doing that, we'll look at the interactive again. Um, and write divergent in your notebook. D I V. Mm? Yes, right where you underneath where you drew convergent, do divergent. Yes. It still looks good, yeah. Because what happened? You're still able to see the see the plates move apart, right? Yeah. Right underneath it. Yep. Divergent. D I V E R. G E N T divergence. Mm -hmm. Yep. Boundary B O U N D A R Y. Divergent boundary. Yes. So for a divergent one, do we still make mountains here? Ooh, let's see. Do we? If we are spreading the plates apart and let me scroll down a little bit to 20 million years because we know it's going to take millions and millions of years to see any change and let's run it mm -hmm. it's like, like stretching the earth apart and then what is it going to start to reveal water, water. yep so yep we said i heard underwater volcanoes absolutely so um, this formed a nice river or a nice water bank. So make sure you draw that in your notebooks as well. Make sure you have your arrows facing out or pulling apart from each other, going in opposite directions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect, and then yeah, draw some water in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you got mountains up here. So what did this make? Mm -hmm. So kind of draw some little waves. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Underwater volcano, yep. Mm -hmm. And make sure you know that you got water. I like your waves, I see. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Looks good, looks good. So, um... What part of the earth do we live on? What layer of the earth do we live on? Nala, the crust. Which one is the thinnest? Aaliyah? The crust is the thinnest. And which one is the thickest? Mackenzie? The mantle. The mantle is the thickest. And our hottest, hottest layer of the earth is, Kimon? The inner core. Very, very good. Yep. So everybody's got divergent boundaries in their books. All right, and then our last one, we have transform. What does transform say that we do, Jeffrey? Split, 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 split. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to slip them right past each other. So, yep, if you want to kind of push them together and then just kind of move them back and forth, up and down, yep. See what happens on your interactive. Yes, I was about to say that next. Transform boundary right next underneath um, or nearby where you've written your other boundaries. Mm, you can flip over, that's cool. A river, yep. So this blue line here represents a river 
And then those small, tiny green dots that we see jump up over and over again, what were those, um, what are those represented by? Earthquakes, yep, the earthquakes are happening. So we'll see what happens at the transform boundary. Everybody got transform, T-R-A-N-S-F-O-R-M. And we'll set it at 20 million years, because again, it takes a very long time. And let's see what happens. The earthquakes are happening all along the fault line there. The river is now doing what? Separating. It's starting to separate. And then now it's starting to do, it's starting to form. A volcano. Not a volcano. Mm. 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 It, it, did, it did have earthquakes, but we know the blue line, the blue line used to go all the way to here. But now it starts to go here. So what did it make? It's a new, a new river. Yep, it just made a brand new river. And this um, brown area here was the abandoned riverbed. So... Yep, that's the abandoned riverbed, because that's exactly where we started. And if we look at it again, look at it one more time, 20 million years, run. This is exactly where it used to be. And then as it slips past, we can see the plates have, they have to move. They have to change, so. The old riverbed dries up, and wherever it runs through new, yes, sir. So that's basically where the old river was. Mm -hmm. That's where the old river was, and now this is our new one here. Yes, ma'am, Malia? So, for like, so what the old river was, the um, the river bed had took over, and then it had made another river. Um, pretty much, cause the shifting, since it happened over so long, the shifting it just had to naturally move. It, you know, if you push something long enough, it's going to end up moving. Yep, very, very good. Absolutely. I like your arrows too, Ariana. Mm -hmm. You have some artsy arrows too. Cool beans. I like it. Ooh, yes. Cool, cool, cool. I love all the mountains and the valleys and rivers you've created. Um, and also with this interactive, it shows us the difference between, uh, what's this word, continental and oceanic? Which word, um, what do these words mean? What does continental mean? What do we, what do we remember? Land. Continental means land and oceanic means the, the water. So if we look at one that we've already looked at, so converging, we'll look at the oceanic if it converges that way. Let's see what happens to the earth and the water when they converge. Is earthquakes happening? Mm -hmm. Earthquakes are happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we have a little bit of both. So yes, you guys saw that there were some underwater volcanoes um, and some mountains as well. Why do you think the water, what do you think the water, or why do you think the water um, is shooting out of the volcanoes here? What do you think? To make ones? Not really to make bigger ones. I just kind of, um, the heat from the core. Yeah, the heat from the core, we talked about it. Um, that word starts with a C. Conve Convection. Convection, yes. And remember, I talked about that too with weather. With the heating and cooling, the heat and the hot and the cold air um, coming together, um, that causes all the water to um, press out or explode out of the underwater, the underwater volcanoes, uh, which we saw were um, those geysers that we looked at not too long ago. Um, and then we saw oceanic convergence, and this is um, two oceans converging as well. So over two million years, or 20 million years, is let's see. Earthquake mm, there's earthquakes happening on the lines. And some volcanoes, mm -hmm. underwater volcanoes. It's forming some underwater volcanoes. But over time, we see they start off small, but then they get a lot, a lot, a lot bigger. Yes, very, very good. Thank you so much for joining us for our lesson here at the Achievable Dreams Academy at Highland Springs Elementary School. We learned a lot with plate tectonics today and hope you guys learned a little bit too. Thank you for joining us. Keep, Keep dreaming. dreaming.